<laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> what's your opinion on being a meme, man? Yeah, what's, yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, it's a double-edged sword. It's yeah. a double-edged sword because I wouldn't be as popular as I am if it weren't for the goofy shit. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I do appreciate and understand how the memes and the gifts have made me, to some respects, a household name. Yes. But at the flip side, I think too much of the sensationalism undermines the seriousness of my mission and my work. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like the people who look at the memes, I don't know if they know that I get death threats on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they know sometimes I got to wear disguises when I go certain places. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think they really understand that this man is a whole activist, right? Yeah. It's not just the entertainment aspect of it. Yeah. So I think sometimes I lose out on the seriousness because of the silliness. Yeah. But at the same time, though, here we go again with the balance, the silliness has brought me a much younger audience. Yeah. <laughs> and the way I see it, I see the silliness as a fishing net. Yeah. I catch them with it. And then when they come to me, mm. they're going to get this garbage. Yeah, 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 you see yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. And so it's the gift and the curse. Yeah. You got to take both worlds. And that's, I told you, I've been watching your content from high school, and that's yeah. how I got familiar with you. It was from, you know, whatever yeah. happened, it was funny. Yeah. And then I got to actually hear your message and how you speak and what you're actually doing. Yeah. Um, and I, but, yeah, I, I, but it's I also a think it's fortuitous, too. And what mm. I mean by saying mm. that is uh, there's no way on earth somebody could tell me, Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad. Or El Haj Malik El Shabazz Malcolm X, or the Honorable Marcus Garvey, or even Kwame Nkrumah, or Patrice Lumumba. Nobody could tell me that them, with their serious revolutionary messages, could end up being one of the hottest topics on children's social media platforms, mm -hmm. like a TikTok or a Snapchat, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, I believe there had to be some divine design into that because I clearly wasn't looking for it didn't know how to do it you understand or bring it about it was purely organic so for me i'm just being i'm going to the spiritual a little bit here but for me as you know i'm working on a school mm -hmm. and i want to put them schools everywhere canada needs some too right uh i believe that the universe has given me this platform in preparation for whatever my next assignment is going to be mm -hmm. the school piece is still there that's an assignment and I'm going to build the schools. But I still think there's something else that the ancestors want from me. And I believe this large platform that I have, mm -hmm. I believe it's a revolution in waiting. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. I'm just waiting for the orders from the universe. What do you want me to do with all these young people? Because I got them. I mm -hmm. got them. Definitely. You know, I have mothers. Uh, today, I'm, I bet you, there's going to be a mother who comes up to me with their eight-year-old son and say, my son made me come see you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I didn't even know you. My eight-year-old son <laughs> said, I need to go see Dr. Umar. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I got all these young people, and every day I'm just praying and asking, how do I flip this into a movement? Mm. Because if I can flip all them into the movement, and I got them globally, globally, yep. what can I do with them? Because I don't think there's ever been a black consciousness personality, definitely not one with the credentials that I have, to be this successful amongst young people. Mm -hmm. Like all of our greats had had young followers, but I don't think nobody has the under 30 or under 20 following that I got. I think it's unprecedented, but that's not enough though. I got to do something with them. Yeah. And so that's why I'm waiting on my next assignment. Got you.